Connect Connect type type series. The first thing that we are going to do is I'm going to tell you how to apply these presets and where to find them. In window, effects and presets, I have it here. So this is on the very top. You have this animation presets folder, you open it and within the text folder here you can find all these folders that are the categories uh, where you can find the actual presets so let's say that i want to go here into the animate in and i'm interested in the typewriter preset so it is a matter of throwing it on the layer hitting spa the spacebar to check how it feels uh, so i didn't like it for example let's say i mean that's that's not true because i, I love the typewriter effect I undo and with this selected, with the layer, the text layer selected, I can apply another one, uh, I can try out another one. So I double click on a preset and I hit the spacebar and here it goes, this crazy animation. So that's it. Again, you need a text layer in the effects and presets panel. You have at the very top the animation presets uh, folder or options and you need to go to the text and all these folders contain the presets with the number one we have the typewriter wonderful effect it is great because it is so easy to apply to any situation it feels simple yet effective and if you want to apply it is within the animate in folder on the bottom also, you can write here typewriter in the search bar and it's going to pop out. So yeah, it is great. To customize it, you can hit U. This is animated only with two keyframes. So if you want it to be quicker, you can put the two keyframes uh, closer together. Remember that you can also change this into an easy ease keyframe like this and deal with the overall uh, smoothness of the motion so with the number one the typewriter effect with the number two the insert text preset that you can find into the mechanical folder right here and I love this how this feels like a little bit more playful than the typewriter effect with the number three a very playful one the text bounce with this oversuit kind of cartoony animation which is super super cool this one if you hit U to customize the effect you're going to see that you have no keyframes so you need to hit E two times and you are going to see that this is all based on an expression can feel a little bit daunting and uh, scary but it is just there okay the next one is the 3d basic position set type on it is like the 3d version of the animate in typewriter again if you hit u you can adapt the overall speed also if you want to be more adventurous you can go in here within the text layer and you see here in the animator where you can change some aspects of this preset so that would be the next step so for example let's say that i want these letters to travel more distance so i can change this for example let's say that i have here minus 1000 so it's going to come from farther away the next one is very straightforward is the slow fade on you can find it in the animate in folder this one is a little bit more interesting and different from the previous one fluorescent light you can find it in light and optical in the number seven the warp 9.8 this is super interesting it's like this crazy pulse animation and it is also if you hit e twice it is based on this expression with the number eight this super funny <laughs> animation it, it is called inch warm and it is within the expressions folder with the number nine we have the sonar pink ping ping with the number 10 we have uh, the fade out slow this is just the opposite as 
the slow fade on. Also, another in interesting note is that you can add like an in animation and then if you move ahead with the playhead and you add another animation for the out, uh, you can have two different presets in the same layer. With the number 11, we have the zoom away animation. With the number 12, we have the fill color wipe. And this is really interesting. If we select the layer and we go to the search bar and we write color, you can change uh, this color, for example, for uh, beautiful yellow here. And this is an excellent way to highlight a text. With the number 13, we have this world in. It is in the curves and spins folder. And it is, this is really, really, let's expand a little bit the preview area. This is really, really, really playful. With the number 14, within the expressions folder, we have the display frame number. This is an interesting one and sometimes just for practical purposes or even like having this nice uh, number animation going up. And the last one is a super, super cool uh, animation or preset. It is the punching back. This one is in the miscellaneous uh, folder and in here, let's go there. This folder here is full of really, really cool animations but yeah i really hope that this this list that i made and this demonstration will help you in the future with using these presets and the best thing about in after effects is that you are going to be able to have always editable text so i can click here and edit my text and it is still all the animation there so i hope you enjoyed and uh, yeah See you in the next one. Connect, Connect series. series.